muted. I said Kompana. I was muted. I haven't streamed and now I forgot how to stream. Kompana. Welcome, welcome. It feels like it's been a while. The monkey music is here. The monkey music is back. Fauna is here. I know the monkey BGM is already affecting me, but it makes me better at climbing, so we have to listen to it at least for now. I will change it <laughs> probably in the next 20 minutes when we get sick of it, unless it makes me climb very well. I'm gonna beat this game today. The power of positive thinking. <laughs> Wait. Let me resume the game. When I loaded up the game, well, I have to remember how to play. <laughs> I, th I did not recognize my surroundings and I got so scared that that it had reset all my progress and I was gonna have to start from zero. But it seems like we're still here. However, I have forgotten how to play this game. <laughs> so we might be in trouble. We're at the hard part. I heard the next part is just as hard though. Maybe even harder. Like this? Hold on. <laughs> oh, launch yourself! Okay. We're here, we're playing this game, and we're chatting. Fifth Fest happened. I I have many feelings. I want to keep improving. I mean, I hope that I've improved already. Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> But I want to keep improving because every time it's like I'm surrounded by so many amazing performers and it's like, man, I need to, I need to, I need to <laughs> earn my keep here. Not that, not that, you know, you have to be good at singing or anything. <laughs> but that's always, always the feeling that I have. You still need to watch it. I know. I need the VODs. <laughs> so I can watch it when my brain is not all mushy mushy. I need the VODs as well. Please, <laughs> please VODs, please. But yes, I had a lot of fun. I hope you liked the song that I chose. I had a lot of fun singing it. I was glad. When I asked <laughs> if I could perform it, and they said yes, I was I was happy. It's a fun song to sing and rap. <laughs> you love my performance. Thank you. It's always fun. It's such a hectic time though because my birthday is tomorrow. It's already tomorrow. Ah! But I'm not panicking. Only a little. I'm not panicking because I already prepared pretty much everything. Would you believe it? I'm pretty sure. It oh, that was it. I didn't grab though. I have prepared everything already. So I just need to show up and I am nervous. I had a dream about it. <laughs> What about the things I forgot about? I know. <laughs> but I did, okay, this is how prepared I am. Yesterday, I did like a dry run <laughs> through it, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Tomorrow is my birthday and the theme is Fauna's dungeon. Welcome to my dungeon. Welcome to the dungeon! Like that. But I did like a, a dry run of the stream yesterday to make sure. And I I did forget some things, which I caught in doing the, oh, the practice run. So that's good. <laughs> scripted reactions? It's not scripted. That's the scary part. If it was scripted, it wouldn't be so scary. It's like riding a bike. It's not pre-recorded, no. I think it's 
zero percent pre-recorded sometimes i sneak a little bit of pre-recording in there this time i will tell you it's zero percent pre-recorded <laughs> 100 percent prepared zero percent pre-recorded 0.1 no it's it's all live it's all live <laughs> Pre-recorded Fada's birth. That would be smart. I should I should have pre-recorded it in like February because March is too busy. I should have. <laughs> and then I wouldn't have to worry so much. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I don't want to do this part. Oh, I was so close. He grabbed with his little fingertips. <laughs> I've been having weird dreams lately. I had a dream about the promise members. You might think, oh, how sweet is that? All of the promise members together. But the dream, it was a zombie apocalypse dream. The members of promise <laughs> zombie apocalypse. It was weird. It started out. How did it start out? I think we were all together at the, oh, at the start. And we were climbing up a staircase. And I was in the front. And then I looked out. There was a window. And I looked out the window. And I saw a tornado. <laughs> headed straight towards us towards the building we were in and I was like, oh, I think we should not be climbing the stairs. So then we all ran downstairs, but we got separated from each other. And I ended up alone with Mume. <gasps> and we went down stairs to seek shelter from the, <laughs> yeah, the zombie from the zombie tornado that was approaching. And then it, it was like I don't know, it was like a weird, creepy building. But then like the lower floors were like a laboratory. And we were like hiding in the laboratory and there were a bunch of scientists with lab coats on. <laughs> and then I guess we weathered the tornado. But then the zombie apocalypse started. <gasps> and eventually we reunited with the, the rest of Promise. And <laughs> Crony and Iris had gotten like cybernetic modifications to help them through the apocalypse. And Bay was, was our fearless leader. But as things, <laughs> as you do, as things unfolded more, what happened? Oh no. <laughs> Was it slowly? We we got bit, some of us. But everyone in Promise ended up being immune to the zombieism. Except for me! I I died! I turned into a zombie and died, and I was the only one! And everybody else was immune. <laughs> and since the dream, my dreams I mentioned before are like always first person. Since the dream was first person and I died, it could not go on like that. So the dream changed at that point from being like an actual zombie apocalypse to being a movie. <laughs> it was a, a promised movie. And I was watching it in theaters as it had its theatrical debut. The promised movie was about us surviving a zombie apocalypse. And I was watching it and I was like, <laughs> well, we got to the end and it was everybody except for me. All alive and they're all hugging each other like, hey, we made it through the apocalypse. And I was watching and I was like, what the heck? Scammed. <laughs> where, where am I? And then my ghost showed up and hugged them in <laughs> a ghostly form. <laughs> I don't know if they knew I was there. Maybe they could sense my presence. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, I was so close. 
close. That was my dream. <laughs> How did it feel to die? Well, as soon as I died, it changed from reality to fiction. It was kind of scary for a while. And I was like with Mume most of it, the first part, and I was worried about her. And somehow I felt like it was my fault that we were in this building with the zombie tornado. <laughs> But then I was like, how come they had to write it like that? How come they had to write it so that I was the only one who died? And everybody else is immune to zombies and that doesn't seem very fair. <laughs> Maybe I wrote it. My brain did write it, it's true. <laughs> so that was the, the weird dream that I had. <laughs> I know, I gotta get the zombie vaccine. <laughs> Chat GPT brain! I'm very mad because on my Kindle, which I love, and I've been reading it non sponsored. Um, but now, you know, I have the Kindle that has ads, which I kind of wish that I bought. <laughs> It's, first of all, this is already like a pretty weird and dystopian Is that you can buy a Kindle They will always give you ads on the home screen Not while you're reading books, but on the home screen When you open it, it'll show you like a... Ads are just other books It'll just show you a random book It's not like a big... It's not as bad as like a flashing banner ad for random things It's just uh... It's just other books on the lock screen so I was like, well, that's fine. But you can pay more money and get one that doesn't have any ads on it, which is like, that's weird. <laughs> and I think it's a significant price difference. I don't remember exactly how much, but it's not a setting. No, you have to pay to, <laughs> to have no ads. Oh, oh. But I didn't mind it too much, the ads. But lately, the past few days, the ads are like chat GPT books. They have like AI art. And then the title is like obviously, <laughs> like it makes no sense. Like it's chat GPT. And it, it fills me with despair to see like, there are whole books, ebooks that are like written by chat GPT. <laughs> And then it's like got AI art on it too. And it's always like an anime boy who looks like he's an isekai protagonist. And then it's called like a bedtime story for adult and child. It's like, I don't know about this. <laughs> but now I'm, I'm sad because that shows up and I have to look at it every time I open my Kindle. And I'm like, if I'm gonna have to buy the one without ads, do they even have, are there even Kindle competitors anymore? There used to be like the Barnes and Noble one, right? It's like a nook. <laughs> Does that still exist? Can I buy one of those? The nook. <laughs> Kobo? I thought, I thought you were talking about Kobo from Hello, ID Gen 3. <laughs> Kobo? <laughs> the Kobo? She'll read books to me? I mean, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> you love your Kobo e reader? Maybe I. It's, it, does it show you. <laughs> show you. <laughs> AI generated books every time you log on? Because maybe it's time for me to get a different. A different device. Oh, but then... Can you import your, like... Do, does it have its own shop? How do you get the ebooks on there? <laughs> Sponsor remote. The AI books follow. I guess the Kindle is easy, because... It's easy to get your books on there. You can just buy them. 
can import from Amazon, but it takes effort. Man, maybe we do go back to reading print books. But it's just... Uh, I'm just so spoiled because it's so fun to just like... <laughs> look for a book and then immediately get to download it and start reading it instantly. Oh. <laughs> it's very convenient. Print books, you have to wait for it to arrive or you have to go to the store and buy it. <laughs> and then... I'm scared of using it in the bathtub. Because I'm scared I will drop it in the water. <laughs> go to the library, that's true. Libraries are the best, indeed. Some libraries, I heard, have video games. I heard you can rent video games sometimes from the library. They do? That's like even better than going to Blockbuster. It's the weekend and you're having a sleepover and your mom takes you to Blockbuster to pick out a game for your GameCube you can rent and play with your friends. And then you also get the jumbo popcorn bucket, which I don't know why it's like more desirable than just a regular microwave popcorn because it comes in a bucket shape. <laughs> you get the jumbo popcorn bucket and some Twizzlers and that's, that's like the best best night you can get. Oh, does it really taste better? Oh yeah, and pizza? Maybe your mom orders you a Domino's pizza? Or Pizza Hut pizza? Or I don't know, any, <laughs> any kind of pizza that you enjoy? <laughs> oh! Whistlers are low tier. I can't even like argue with you even though I like them because they do taste <gasps> just like plastic. <laughs> Papa John's. The magic mushroom pizza. Wait, I don't think that's right. <laughs> oh no. Strawberry plastic. Yeah, it's tasty plastic. Exactly. <laughs> the magic mushrooms? Are you winning? I actually am winning. I'm gonna beat this today. Even though I have a hard time limit. Oh! Because twilight is happening. <laughs> Beating macroplastics! <laughs> Twizzlers, macroplastics. I mean, have we confirmed that they are not made of petroleum? Because I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced. No, we're making good progress. Later <laughs> in the movie? Can you imagine? It's my channel, so who's gonna stop me? Imagine I just have this in the corner. <laughs> and it's, it's muted. But it's, it's there, it's in the corner. Oh! No, then we're reaching like TikTok brain rot levels. Yeah, the subway surfers. Because we can't pay attention to Twilight. We have to have a little, little, I almost called it You Suck at Climbing. <laughs> that would be a good name for it. You Suck at Climbing gameplay in the corner. <laughs> BGM going on through Twilight. Imagine the hits. <laughs> it is the free solo simulator. You play Balatro while watching other things? I did want to play Balatro too. I want to unlock more packs. I want to do the challenge packs. A full house. A full house. I've been having weird dreams lately. 
Last night, I dreamt that I, I was wandering in a city that I was visiting and I, I somehow like was traveling to the city, but I neglected to book a hotel for myself. So I was like panicking. I was like, what do I do? I don't have a hotel. And it was like 10 PM and I was scared. I wouldn't be able to find any place. But then I found, are we looping? No. I found this bed and breakfast. And I was like, okay, I'll try, I'll book this place. And it was weird. It was like somebody's house, which often bed and breakfasts are, right? It was like somebody's house. So they just converted it. So there were a lot of rooms and a lot of the rooms didn't have their own bathroom, except that they kind of did. It was just like a bedroom, but then in the corner there was a toilet, a bathtub, and a sink. Like in the room with the bed. <laughs> That's in jail. A full house. And I was like, I don't I don't really want to stay in those, like. Do you have any rooms with bathrooms? And then they're like, yeah, it's a suite and it's gonna run you $500 a night. And I was like, well, I guess I have no choice. Put me in the suite then. <laughs> and then I got there and I was settling in. I like paid. And the like host came over and was like, okay, breakfast is at this time. If you come down to the, the kitchen, then you can get free oatmeal along with your already free breakfast. And then if you want it delivered to your room, you can also get free oatmeal. And I was like, okay, it sounds good. That sounds good, free oatmeal. But then she was like, so <laughs> for your contribution to this group living situation, um, Tomorrow, we're gonna need you to fix the lawnmower. It's broken. <laughs> so please make sure you do that tomorrow. That'll be your assignment. And I was like, excuse me. <laughs> I'm paying $500 to stay here and I have to fix your lawnmower. And then I was like, I don't know how to fix a lawnmower. <laughs> what a deal. <laughs> I was like, I, I have to tell you, I've never even mowed a lawn, much less tried to repair a lawnmower. I, I can't, I can't do that. And then I had to like go, I had to leave. I had to get a refund. And I was like Googling on my phone. I was panicking. I was like, where can I stay? And I just remember Googling like, Hilton, Marriott. <laughs> Trying to find a hotel that I could stay in. Google's how to fix a lawnmower and, and panic. I don't know why I didn't like start with like the Hilton, the Marriott. <laughs> I don't know why I started with this bed and breakfast. That was a weird. Dream. After I dropped $500, no, I got a refund. It's okay. <laughs> they refunded me. Oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> what is this music called? It's called monkey music. This <laughs> beginning, this was a dream. Fortunately, yes, this was a dream. It did not really happen. I am not really the type of person to like, end up forgetting to book a hotel room. <laughs> I'm just like too, I'm, I'm too high strung. I would never forget to book a hotel room. <laughs> that just like wouldn't happen. Instead, I have dreams that I forgot to book a hotel room. That's why I will never forget to book a hotel room. 
because instead I have like stress dreams where I forget to book a hotel room. I don't know. It's like, you know how you can get your boarding pass at the airport? You can also get it on your phone. I'm the type of person who gets it on my phone, saves it both as a PDF and a screenshot on my phone and in the Apple wallet or whatever. And then also I'll print it out at the airport too. <laughs> Just in case, you know, like my phone spontaneously combusts while I'm like at the gate waiting for my flight. <laughs> you never know what could happen between check-in and <laughs> when you board the plane. So like that's, that's, that's how I am. <laughs> you definitely do the screenshot of the PDF. Yes, cause it's like, what if there's no Wi-Fi at the airport? And it's like, what kind of airport doesn't have Wi-Fi? I don't know. <laughs> what if there's no Wi-Fi and I have no cell phone service? You never know what could happen. And then my phone might, it might die. You never know. So you better print it out <laughs> once you get there anyway. Get it tattooed. <laughs> Paranoid much? I know, I know. This is, this is what you get though. This is why I'm almost never late to my streams. This is it's all, it's all package deal, see. You get the, the stress dreams and the paranoia, but you also get punctuality and usually being prepared, usually, not always, but. <laughs> but you get the full house. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. Man, that makes me remember like my sewing days. I do want to get back into sewing, but it's just time consuming. I would measure like four times and cut once and I would still do it wrong. <laughs> I don't know, usually when I messed up doing sewing though, it's because I would, I would not trust the pattern. Like I would, <laughs> which is, it's like too arrogant. I would be like, I think the pattern is wrong. I know this pattern was created by like a professional, but me, a novice, I think that I know better and I think the pattern is wrong and I should actually do it this way. And then I do it my way and then it's wrong. <laughs> like, oh. I was wrong the whole time. <laughs> the hubris. Sewing patterns can be very confusing though. If you've never sewn anything, it's usually like I end up putting something on backwards. Cause like it doesn't make sense in my mind, like how that could be the right way. But it works out if you actually follow the instructions. <laughs> I did not trust the process, I didn't. <laughs> I'm not wrong, the world is wrong. The no instructions Lego stream idea, yes. But I'll do it right, for sure. I was reaping. <laughs> Me sewing, haha, <laughs> yes. Me reaping? No! How could this have happened? <laughs> I've seen the true pattern. <laughs> 30 minutes and no progress? I've made great progress. Listen, progress isn't always linear. This is an important life lesson. I'm getting better every jump. And that's, that's the truth. You may not believe it, but it is the truth. <laughs> I see I'm getting better. Better at coping. I realized I have dream 
games a lot where I'm like, I don't know, do you guys dream about your, the places you used to live? I dream about the places I used to live like all the time. I dream about my childhood home all the time. I also, well more like lately, I've been dreaming about the first apartment that I lived in by myself. And I dream about my grandparents' old house a lot too. All the time, it makes me sad when I do. Me too, mine are usually like, I don't know, it sounds sad. Well, it kind of is sad. There's like a theme. <laughs> the theme is like, I don't know. I'll be like, I will like be, well, hold on, words, <laughs> sentences. How do I say sentences? I will be like stranded, like my dream where I'm trying to find a hotel. <laughs> But I'll like be in the vicinity of like one of my old houses, my old apartment, and I'll like try to go there. But it it's like not mine anymore, and it's like empty, or it's locked, or someone else is living there, and it's like oh, this is no longer mine. It is. It's kind of melancholy because it's like this was my home, but it is no longer. You've had that one, yeah. And then it, it made me think, like there probably are people living in all of these homes, you know, now. They aren't mine anymore. <laughs> but when I picture them in my head, I picture them, well, usually either like as they were or like when they were empty when I was moving out. You usually sell the hope, it's true. You've seen people living in your old house, it's weird. I haven't really, but it's like got me thinking about it. <laughs> like wanting to go creep on my old apartment <laughs> that I lived in years ago. Look in the windows. Sicko behavior. <laughs> they painted your childhood home purple. How do you feel about that? I know, doesn't it feel like, no, they shouldn't change anything. <laughs> they shouldn't get rid of the gross old shag carpet that my dog peed on. They shouldn't get rid of that. They should keep that. <laughs> How dare they? How dare they make it their home? <laughs> it's Grimace's house now. That would be the true nightmare. Oh, so close. That's my trashy wall. I don't know, it's just something I've been thinking about. I often have dreams like that. Where I'll be like stranded and have nowhere to go. And I try to go home, but no one is there. And it's been abandoned. And I can no longer, no longer go in there. The music though, I know, kind of a introspective topic for such music, but you know. What do my dreams mean? I don't know. Don't know with flash. I think, I don't know. I think I'm just like a nostalgic person. I don't want to read too deeply into it. I also just think I'm like an anxious person. And I don't like, well, this is just in general. I don't like being away from home. But it's not as if I don't have a home <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's only in dreams. 
home is where the snail is. Same, but mostly because of my cats. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, oh. But I think even the hotel dream I had was kind of like that. It was also set. The city I was visiting was a city I used to live in. That I don't anymore. So I think even in that dream, it got me thinking about like, the old place I used to live. And I felt like, like I didn't even know. <laughs> like I was Googling like hotels. I didn't even know what hotels there were anymore. Things had changed. Oh, just barely grabbing onto it. Ooh. Visiting your old city is always a trip. I haven't really done that, but I feel like I should. I did not go to any of my <laughs> high school or college reunions. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Same. High school is a definite no. College might be okay, but I feel like I would be too sad. I don't know. Because I, even now, I sometimes miss it. <laughs> I liked college a lot. I liked living on campus so close to my friends. And I liked going to classes and learning. <laughs> so I feel like I would go back and I would see how things have changed and I would be like, I would be the grouchy grandma. Grouchy? Grandma. <laughs> you whippersnappers don't understand how good you have it. <laughs> grouchy grandma. <laughs> My new martial arts <laughs> skill. Or we're stealth. I'm stealth moan. <laughs> I'm hidden. I'll sneak into the classrooms <laughs> and throw bananas at people. No, I think that's assault. I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh. We've been stuck here for 40 minutes. Someone said that this part takes people hours to complete, so. I'm just viewing it like it takes hours and every minute we spend is a minute closer and we just have to grind it out and we'll get there eventually. <laughs> this is the orange hell. Ooh. You can't deny I'm getting better at that jump. That grew out like three or four hours at this part. Why do you, why do you ask that? Do I seem like I'm not okay? I mean, beyond my like emo getup, which definitely does scream, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> I promise, I'm promise. As long as the zombie apocalypse doesn't happen. In which case, I'm doomed. <laughs> it won't as long as I climb. Can I, can zombies climb? 
I guess it depends on zombie. Can I escape them with my amazing climbing skills? Depends on the zombie build. How long would I survive a real zombie apocalypse? 10 minutes. One hour. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to survive. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe. What am I fighting for? It's like that, you know, in the zombie apocalypse. What are you fighting for? You gotta have something to fight for. Oh. Fight for snail. Do I have to go hunt rabbits though? Because he's allergic to other meat. <laughs> or I have to break into the Royal Canaan cat food factory. And steal all the cans of cat food. Something like that. <laughs> oh. Where is the Royal Canaan factory? Well, actually, there's probably multiple, right? I need to make my plan. Does cat food expire? Probably, but it's also like the apocalypse, so I don't know. I'm gonna be eating like expired beans, so. Snail can eat expired cat food too. <laughs> Does anyone know that offhand? You gotta know it in case of apocalypse. Missouri and South Dakota. Okay, I've got my my destination then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Missouri. I hear they call it misery. Can I drive? In the apocalypse, I can drive. You saw my Pacific Drive stream. <laughs> oh. One time I visited a town that had a dog food factory in it. And the whole town smelled like dog food. <laughs> It was not my favorite place. Did it stink? Yeah. <laughs> Did I eat some? No. No. Cool story. <laughs> Beyond, I didn't. Okay, I mean, I ate a dog biscuit once, but. Not, not at that time. <laughs> Did I do a tour? No. I did not. <laughs> what did I even do? I don't remember. I don't think there was anything to do. Besides smell the dog food. Doing it. We're getting better at this drum now. About this drum, I don't know. Should I swing from lower? <laughs> okay, not like that. Wake up and smell the dog food. See, we're like talking about how unfortunate that would be. But in the apocalypse, don't you want to be where the dog food factory is? 
This stuff's got a lot of calories in it. Like, if Fido is not gonna eat it, then you might as well eat it in the apocalypse. But I guess, like, I don't know. <sighs> I mean, if we're talking like apocalypse fantasies, I guess you can have higher aspirations than the dog food factory. You could have the like, oh, you could be next to like the little Debbie factory. <laughs> you could be eating honey buns throughout the entirety of the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> the Twinkie factory. <laughs> the human food factory. That's what I'm talking about. Do you guys like honey buns? I used to love them, but I didn't eat them very often. My mom, they were just a treat. It was like, she always treated it like if you eat honey buns too much, you will, you might perish. And I think she was on to something. <laughs> too sweet. They probably are, but if you put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds, yeah. Eat one like every few years. I feel like that's the way to go. You never heated it up. That's the way. You have to heat it up. What about the? I think these are actually like vegan, so I could still eat them. I think theoretically, at least some of them. The like gas station fruit pies, like the gas station cherry pies with like the waxy paper. Do you know those? Those are good. <laughs> oh no! They're so good. Those were also like, we only ate them like when we were going on a road trip. We went to a gas station. The apple ones, yeah. Oh, oh so close. They're so good. Carcinogenic or something, are they? Why must all good things be so bad? That's not true. A lot of healthy food is delicious. The cherry one, the cherry one is Mama Kieran's favorite. I think I prefer apple, but they're both good. Oh. <laughs> apple and cherry. Yeah, apple and cherry are probably number one and number two for sure. Mama Kieran's chili oil. Dipped in Mama Kieran's chili oil. <laughs> do they do peach? I don't know. But I feel like peach is actually like. I, okay, peaches are probably my favorite fruit, but I feel like peaches are not actually that good for, maybe I should try a different strategy, for pies. One time I made, oh, okay, maybe not higher. Peach cobbler is good, it's true, but like a peach pie? One time I made a peach pie using like fresh peaches and they were in season and delicious. But the pie, <laughs> it, in the end, they ended up tasting after they were cooked like canned peaches. Like they tasted exactly like the canned peaches, which like those are pretty good to be fair. But I mean, I spent a long time like peeling them and cutting them up from <laughs> from scratch and making it just for it to taste like canned peaches, so. I'm kinda, I'm kinda not really in the peach pie camp. I feel like apple pie is better. It's tried and true. Skill issue? I don't know, I don't know. I think I bake a pretty good pie. I just think peaches were not made for pies. Cobblers, yes. Now, why cobblers but not pies? I don't know. <laughs> I, 
I don't know. But that's just the way it is. Ooh, like a warm peach cobbler with ice cream on it? Yes. Moisture and texture. Wait, that actually makes sense. Because maybe when you have like the lid on the pie, it gets like steamed more. Like the crust. The crust lid. And maybe it changes the texture in a less pleasant way. I mean, it's not like it was bad. It tasted exactly like the canned peaches, which I'm sure if you've had them, then you can imagine the taste. <laughs> which I used to love those. I used to eat those all the time, straight from the can. But it was a lot of work peeling. It's ah, slicing each peach just for it to taste like a can. <laughs> yeah, doused in sugar water, yes. I liked the canned pears too, but I feel like those are more controversial. <laughs> um, the effort wasted. I know, I should have just eaten it by itself. Thank you, stream win. I know, I need to redeem myself. <laughs> From the lemon cake I made, we made. <laughs> It wasn't so bad though. It tasted pretty good, I thought. <laughs> what happened to Dober 2? Okay. Dober 2 has been in the fridge, I think a little too long. I think I need to make Dober the third. But uh, I'm just feeling a little demotivated in the Dobers. I don't know why I can't, I can't get him. To work. I killed him. He should have been doubling. He wasn't doubling. I think maybe it's just too cold. Hopefully it will warm up. And we can make... Oh! That felt so close. We can have a... Steamy hot Dobert <laughs> who doubles in size every 12 hours. Not <laughs> my boy Dobert the second. Well, you know what they say, third time's the charm. <laughs> Dobert hot, what do you think? Poor Dobert, he was just too cold, I guess. Though I tried the trick where you have the oven light on. Oh, but not the oven, you know? Oh, <laughs> just the light. And it warms it up in the oven. You put him in there. I easy baked him, actually, yes. That is basically an easy bake oven. How did the Easy Bake Oven bake anything at all? How long do you have to put it in there? Like five hours at 100 degrees? It's basically a dehydrator at that point. Hot light? <laughs> it's super hot. I did have an Easy Bake Oven. And I did love it. Got <laughs> hot. Dried it out. There was scorching hot. I know, I still think I was not allowed to use the Easy Bake Oven without parental supervision. So, like, what was even the point? Oh no, we could have just used the real oven. And not had to eat a brownie that was cooked by a 100 watt light bulb. <laughs> I guess I probably just wanted 
to use the Easy Bake Oven because it's fun. It's a fun toy. Yeah. <gasps> ah, he needs more finger strength. He's grabbing it. Barely, almost. Can we switch music? Okay, okay. But we're going to audio stock because I don't have anything in mind. The meow song? You don't want a fresh, a fresh from audio stock song? And some water time. I like the water, water one, but I can't find any. Lounge music? Okay, let's look for lounge. Lounge loop. Is this what you listen to in a lounge? Oh? <laughs> Too happy? This is a ringtone? Peaceful dreams loop? I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Lo-fi hip-hop. This sounds familiar. It's so corporate, it is. Fun vacation, summer vacation. Oh no, this is a 14 second loop. We're definitely gonna go crazy if we listen to a 14 second loop. Where do I find water level music? Mm. Mysterious, calm, fantasy. Oh. Maybe this isn't quite right. I want like, you know, Bub Lane from Super Mario Odyssey? I want that one. Wait, is this Animal Crossing? No, not really. <laughs> Text notification music. I'm not feeling these. Can we have like Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong loop. No Donkey Kong. How do you say Donkey Kong in Japanese? <laughs> More monkey music? This is like beach music, but I want like underwater music. I mean, it's bossa nova, it's elevator music, my beloved. <laughs> yeah, what about rain, rainy? <laughs> it's too like, all right, everybody. Gather round and listen up. I'm about to tell you words to live by. That's right. Always believe in yourself and you'll go far. <laughs> Too 
too chill. How do you find a music to listen to? Diving. <laughs> Do we have loops? No loop? Some of these might be loops. Ooh. No loops? Who needs loops? You guys are gonna go crazy if there's not a loop. Wow. No loops? Whoa! Who's singing? Frog music? There's no frog loops. Give me a relaxing summer song. I will suffer if we do that. We could, I guess. Only if it's the slime one. <laughs> no, only if it's the frog one. Please, no. Hold on. We can't. Give me... Give me this one. This is like the closest to my vision that I have. I don't know if it's gonna save us though. We shop theme. Super Mario RPG. Sonic the Hedgehog, Donkey Kong 3. Adventures of Lolo 1 and 2. Something, something to man Harvest Moon. Puzzle Pokemon. Ninja Gated 1. Ninja Gated 2. Ninja Gated 3. Cruising USA. Greatest YouTube video of all time. Isn't it from like a TV show or is it not? Okay, great jumping, strong jumping. Slice and Dice has music now, does it? I love Slice and Dice. I was actually playing it like maybe a month ago. <laughs> Just on my own. I still think Slice and Dice is so fun. Did they update it? It got an update? When? Maybe I'll have to play it. It's just updated 3.0. It's coming to Steam? You're playing it now? Today? Today and I'm not playing Slice and Dice? <laughs> what am I doing here? What am I doing here? It's already on Steam? <laughs> what am I doing? Play this climbing game with Slice and Dice is out. Stop the stream! Oh, 
I want to play it. When will I play it? I'll find time to play it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> no, we gotta, we gotta grind away at this. Cause I believe if I just sink like four hours into this part, I'll be done. Oh, the soul he grabbed it! Oh my gosh, you're right, that means I can get it on the Steam Deck. Oh, I can play it on the Steam Deck. If you never hear from me again, you know why. <laughs> the Steam Deck is too powerful. Oh, he grabbed it. A little further right, maybe. Can't be too far, it'll hit your, your head. <laughs> Three times now gone. Last stream one month ago. The Steam Deck really is good. Also, I was like, how long does it take people to 100% Bomba is you? Because I was curious, but instead of Googling it, which maybe is the normal thing to do, I went on Steam reviews and looked like how many hours people had when they reviewed the game. 70 hours. Because I've got, I've got 15 hours. <laughs> I sunk 15 hours into Bomba is you already, and I'm not. I have only a hundred percent in three worlds still. Oh no. <laughs> so, only 15, 15 is nothing. Okay, I was starting to feel insecure. Like maybe I should have beat the game already. So, I'm glad you're here. Cause some people, they did it. They had like 400 hours, <laughs> which I feel like maybe they played it multiple times, but. I did see several people with like 70 hours. I know, Bibu beat it in only one hour, so. I gotta, I gotta step up my, my game. Oh, so close! <laughs> and you dream, Bibu. I see she's been playing more Hollow Knight. I haven't really been watching because I don't want to see too much. Although I've already seen bits of Hollow Knight. I kind of want to play it, but it's such a big commitment. <laughs> Hollow Knight, but it just has such impeccable atmosphere. I think I might play The Witcher though. That might be my next big commitment game. Although this game that I'm playing right now might be a, a big commitment game. Maybe right here. Oh, that's too far, I think. Which is big, yeah. What's the guy's name? Gerard, Gerald, <laughs> what's his name? The Witcher Man, Gerald. <laughs> it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not Gerald. Gerald, Ger Gerald. Hold on, that's not gonna work. John Witcher, <laughs> Gerald, yeah, Gerard Way. <laughs> John Witcher. I think I could be him. Usually I don't like games where you can't play as a girl because I can't self-insert, but I think I can self-insert as John Witcher. Just like how I can self-insert as Agent 47.
He has eyes like me. Self-insert as John climbing. I self-insert as Ben body. <laughs> Actually, I think that's the way to beat getting over it. You have to self-insert not as Diogenes, but as Ben body. No, sometimes games okay like I was mad when Breath of the Wild didn't let you play as Linkle after they introduced Linkle in like I don't know I mean I've never played a Zelda game so I'm not the one to say this but like isn't Link like a silent protagonist anyway so like does this he does it affect the story at all if you're Linkle instead I really want to play as Linkle. I know she's so cute. I just think she's the cutest. <laughs> the lore? <laughs> it can't be Linkle? Is Linkle even canon? Maybe she's not even canon. I don't know. But I don't want to be Link. I'm sorry. I guess he's fine. But Linko is so cute. She's not canon. She has the cute little braids. Link is cute too. They do let him wear the some new outfit. Breath of the Wild, right? I don't know anything about Link though. I don't know. Does he have a personality? I mean, he's like silent protagonist, right? So what a way to put it, very diplomatic way to put it. I know. I know about his outfit. I know how people feel about it. Does he have a personality? Oh no. It's not silent. Yeah, he yells and grunts, but he doesn't say words, right? He's like a caveman. Does he say words? Does he just refuse to talk to people? He did in one game. Does Mario have a personality? Yes. Mario says, it's a me, Mario. That's his personality. He's Chris Pratt. He's the hero. <laughs> Apparently I slandered Mario after I watched the Mario movie. Cause I was like, Mario is so self-centered, self-absorbed, thinks he's the main character. <gasps> Cause he is. <laughs> okay, I'm scared now. How the heck do we do this? Maybe we can reach it. <gasps> My hands are so sweaty right now. Wheel? What the heck? Really? The wheel? <laughs> the towel. I know. Where's my gamer towel? When you need it. It is far. This is the hard jump? Oh no. Don't mess up, I messed up. <laughs> the worst part is, I'm pretty sure I got... Wait, no, I didn't quite get there. But I think I got past that other jump. Like, on my like second try. The last time I played this.
Oh, that wasn't it. <laughs> is this part really supposed to be this hard? I don't know. I mean, I'm honestly only 30% paying attention to the game. 70% thinking about Link in that one outfit. But that's, I don't know. I thought that's how everyone is playing this game. <laughs> I thought that's the only way to play it. <laughs> how about Zelda? Yes. Zelda is like who I want to be. She is like, I don't know. She is, she is beautiful. She is princess. She is elegance. <laughs> Which Zelda, any of them. I don't know, I am partial to the purple dress Zelda. Is it Twilight Princess Zelda? <laughs> but all of them. The brunette one? I do like when she's brunette. I like both. I feel like I... I mean, she's... Was she only brunette, like, once? But that was in Smash Brothers, right? She's brunette in Smash Brothers, one of them. Only in Twilight Princess. I like that one. Yeah, which is based off Twilight Princess. I mean, blonde feels like classic Zelda, but I like, I like the brunette also. I mean, she can look however, and she will, <laughs> she will be beautiful, cause she's Zelda. Green hair might fit her, I agree, I agree. I should see Midna. I've seen Midna. Wait, have I, she's got like a chibi form, right? But then she's got like a non-chibi form. Yeah, her like imp form. <laughs> she's like Kuromi. Is that a spoiler? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even play Zelda and I know about it. Ending spoiler? I spoiled the whole ending? <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Ah. How do I know about it? One of my friends <laughs> likes Midna a lot. Specifically the, the yeah. goddess form Midna. I didn't understand why she liked Midna in the imp. I only knew the imp form, and I was like, "This is." <laughs> and then she's like, "No, no, you gotta, you gotta see, you gotta see this other form that she's got." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I see, I see." Was this was my friend who was really into Bionicles and she told me like everything about Bionicle. And she also was really into Xenoblade and told me everything about Xenoblade. I don't actually know. I haven't talked to her in a while. Last time I talked to her, she had a crush on somebody. But I don't know if it if it went anywhere or not. <laughs> Classic chat. 
show her VTubers? I think she knows. <laughs> She's here right now, I hope not. Cause I feel bad telling about her, her romantic exploits, even vaguely. So oh, you will not never know who she is. <laughs> Hi, Fonda's friend. Hopefully, an interest in Bionicle is not enough to identify her. <laughs> Who's her Bionicle? Oh, she. Oh, I should know this. As her friend, I should know this. It was the evil one. I don't remember. Starts with an M. Big friend. <laughs> Is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, I think. Makuta. And <laughs> there was down nothing. Is that everybody's? Oh no, the evil one. You mean? <laughs> Him? I don't remember. Maybe. Hakuna Matata, that one. That's how I felt listening <laughs> to the Bionicle lore. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> My friend is your new Oshi. Oh no, I didn't grab. I did tell her once that <laughs> that her telling me so much about Bionicle has given me great cred. <laughs> now, every time I talk about it on stream, everybody's like, yeah, Bionicle! And I get to be like, ha ha ha. level in a video game, in a Sonic game, like pinball, it does. No! <laughs> what in four chance? The wheel, 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 wheel! Sounds like you're on hold. You're making me dislike this music that I've chosen. It does kind of sound like hold music. That kind of changed my whole opinion on it. Just like that. Oh, so close! <laughs> this whole Corsair is fun. Joke's on you, because I never answer my phone. I don't know. It's always a robot trying to steal my personal information anyway. If it's important, they will leave a message, which I may or may not <laughs> listen to, which I will look at the auto transcription of, and if it seems important, I will listen to it. We grabbed so high on that one. Get auto transcriptions? I do. I have an iPhone. Is that an iPhone thing? Ah, 
I know, I know, I have an iPhone. <gasps> We're doing it. <laughs> I had an Android for a while. I had a Samsung Galaxy, which was all right. I don't know, I don't really mind either way. I'm kind of like, whatever. As long as it can play Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, then that's all I really need. But the whole Kieran family has iPhones, so I felt pressured to get an iPhone also. So that we could FaceTime. You don't care anymore about the iPhone versus Android war? Me neither, like who cares? Oh. As long as I can play games. iPhone family. I guess a lot of people do care. I know I've seen iPhone users bully non-iPhone users. Well, I've seen it both ways. It's just like, <laughs> if you, I don't know, aren't, this is there, aren't there bigger things to worry about? I see it on the the r slash tinder subreddit which i will admit i have lurked there before <laughs> there's some there's some funny interactions on there oh god <laughs> why i don't know it's just, sometimes it's fun to look at other people's drama why am i on reddit again i know I need to stop, especially cause it's like, apparently it's all bots and I hate the idea that I'm just like reading things that bots wrote. <laughs> Getting poisoned. Yeah. I've got to stop, I know. But they often are like, oh my God, you have green bubbles. Disgusting. <laughs> it's like, really? That's what we're worrying about? I don't know. I mean, I don't think, I don't know. I guess there are people like that, but. Come on, you gotta. <laughs> Is that really your priority? You've seen that too. I don't know if it's like how many people are actually like that in real life. I choose to believe it's just more represented on the internet than it actually is. That people don't really care. I don't know. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> the dead internet theory. Is it real? Are you guys bots? You have to tell me if you're a bot. <laughs> what if I'm already streaming to just bots? What is the meaning in my life? Beep <laughs> boop. No. 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 <laughs> no one on the internet is real. Well, I guess if I'm a bot too, then it's fine. <laughs> I want you to find out this way. I can't pass my captures. I don't know how to do this part. I'm scared. Ah, I hit the top. Is there a strategy? Further down? Wasn't I as far as you can be? Do you guys remember Blabbot? From that one game? Amanda the Adventurer? Well, if it's a one in four chance, that means we'll get it eventually. Lab on my beloved. Hold on, I need an arm stretch. Should we change the music? Hold on. Do I have anything good?
How about this one? I'll give you a break. What? <laughs> what a V song. We can have a break from the monkey music. How's the volume? It's pretty nice. <laughs> Suddenly feel like studying. Do I have anything bad? It's been bad all day. It's good? Okay. Take me back. You missed the brain rot already. I know, now it's like too comfy. Lo-fi beats to chill to, to climb to. This is basically my homework. Oh no. I was thinking about that the other day. How like at some point, well it depends, you know. Depends on your career and etc. But for a lot of people, like they take a test, an exam, and then it's like the last one that they ever take. And then they never take another, another test. This is the only test that I have. <laughs> Beating a difficult game about climbing. <laughs> you wish that was true? Depends, right? A lot of careers require you to take certain tests. <laughs> or you have to get more schooling, etc. Recertification test. Every three years for all years. That is that is tough. Do you have to study? A lot of careers nowadays, you have to study for interviews too. Which always like seemed crazy to me. Oh. It's rough. Why did it seem crazy? It's just not something that I ever had to do. Luckily for me, it seems very stressful. I guess it's like, I don't know. I guess <laughs> it is more meaningful than like looking at somebody's like GPA or whatever, which doesn't really tell you anything, but also like that's, that's stress. That's stressful. <laughs> I didn't study Hollow Live before my interview. Did I? I mean, I prepared. I prepped. <laughs> but I don't know if I'd call it studying. <laughs> Did they look at my GPA? No. They should have. I should have included it. <laughs> for my birthday. I mean, it's not really studying. I'm prepared. But I had a perfect 4.0. Not in college, I think. <laughs> I got... I got one C. And then I was like, oh no. And after that, I tried a little harder. One C, I know. It was in organic chemistry. <laughs> First semester of organic chemistry. Second semester, I think I bumped it up to a, a B minus. Maybe it was just a B, I don't remember. 
It is, it is brutal. It is brutal. C is basically an A. Not really, because I was actually getting like, I was scoring like 50% on the tests, but then that becomes like a C. But it did not feel good to like get the test back and it's like 56% and it's like, oh no. But then, yeah, the curve is like a C. But I, I should have tried harder. I did try harder after that. <laughs> the curve saves us. Oh my gosh, I remember, I, did not learn anything. <laughs> it was not yeah. good. They would draw like a molecule and then they would draw like a different molecule and they're like, write the steps of how this molecule can turn into this molecule. And I would literally just like, just guess. <laughs> I would just draw the connections. I would just change the connections and be like, here we go. This is. Surely this will work. <laughs> it just turns into this. <laughs> there were like names. There were all kinds of like reactions. I don't remember. It like attacks. Oh no from behind. <laughs> Fisher esterification. <laughs> the E1, E2 reaction. Oh no. I was not good. Everything goes into the square hole. Yup, that's right. It goes in the square hole. That was me, basically. <laughs> A full house. No. <laughs> Not the square hole. You love Okem? Is this, is this real? Do you really love it? A rare Okem enjoyer? There must be some, right? Out there? Organic chemistry enjoyers? They must be around. <laughs> That's a bot! <laughs> no! No! Somebody needs to do it. We need organic chemists in the world, right? You got an A in Okem? Show me your powers. <laughs> Is this the power of studying? <laughs> Show me your test answers. <laughs> oh, we're still here. It's been two hours. We're close, I can feel it. I mean, it's basically... <laughs> right? My 70% is still thinking about Link in that one outfit. I can't, I can't beat the game until I get that image out of my mind. Oh no. Hard <laughs> to forget the veil? The veil? Yeah. <laughs> Please reach the new checkpoint. Well, I will. I told you I'm going to beat it today. Yeah. So I will. I can probably play yeah. for another hour before I need to get ready to watch Twilight. Oh, I get to watch Twilight after this, but it's the last one! <gasps> when you get to watch Twilight with your friends, <gasps> but it's the last Twilight movie. No! <laughs> 
When can we? Is there more Twilight? I guess they're making a TV show. We could watch that. The big watch alongs are just fun. Ah! So close. I'll be free. <laughs> Bottom text. What if I don't want to be free? Huh? Have you ever considered that? I wish I knew like Twilight quotes. I feel like there would be an applicable Twilight quote there. Your love is like a drug to me. <laughs> no wait, that's not what he says. Your scent is like a drug to me. Bella. I know, where is Nerissa when I need her? <laughs> oh no, I felt it! That should have been it! No! Bella, I'm Batman! Bella! like an organic chemistry and that's because she could see the future and she could see all the questions that are going to be on the test that's why school oh i still think the only answer is that it's a punishment from carlisle sending them to high school but how does he even have that authority over them oh where should i swing from <laughs> he's a demon he's the papa but he's not really and they're all adults Right? How do I do this? Should I be lower? But I'm scared I'm gonna fall off if I'm lower. Close my eyes? I don't know about that. Oh, that felt close! Dang it, that felt really close. I gotta lock in. I mean, if we can beat this part today, I would consider that a win. And if we have to talk about Twilight the whole time until we get there, then that's just a sacrifice that we're gonna have to make. No! No! Just a day at the pool. Exactly. Oh no. Did you miss the Fess recap? I didn't say much about Fess. I'm glad people liked my song. I was very happy. To be able to sing Odd Taxi, because I love Odd Taxi. I know it's always an emotional, oh, amazing time of year. Fess. Everybody's just so incredible. It's crazy to be able to stand on the same stage as all of these talented people. Makes me want to improve. Also, please release the VODs. <laughs> so I can watch them when I'm not half dead. No, that was, that was worse. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Me spawn pods, save me. Ugh. Uh oh. Oh, I feel like I'm getting better.
better at this part. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, how hectic? I mean, it's always hectic, like, ooh, hoo, hoo. not only because fest, but also like it's right in the midst of the, oh, no, <laughs> no, his fingers. Right in the midst of the like promised birthday relay. And I don't know, when was Fest? Last year? I don't remember. But it's like coming right off the best of my birthday. I'm a little frazzled, but it's good. It was the same. 18th, 19th? Yeah. I didn't really think about that. <laughs> when I was born, you know? I could have picked a better day to be born. Not really. I like my birthday. <laughs> but it is a hectic time of year, you have to admit. Oh, there we go. Grasp it firmly. Puddle 2.0 incoming. I think I'm okay, actually. I'm gonna have a million super chats to read. That's what I will be doing after my birthday. But I think I'll be okay. I'm pretty much prepared. Also, thank you everyone for your support. I really do appreciate it. I'm sorry I'm I'm not caught up, but I will get caught up on all the all the supers. So thank you very much. But I don't think I'll be able to read them before my birthday. So I do apologize. We're gonna have a lot to catch up on. But we'll have comfy, long super chat reading. That's the, that's the plan. <laughs> oh, should I be lower? I'm scared he's gonna fall though. I know tomorrow is the birthday. <gasps> he's slipping, I'm scared. My birthday is Fauna's dungeon themed. I'm very excited. I did a lot of prep. No! <laughs> I hope it will be fun. I have some special guests. And it is special guests, not just in a call-in format. Ooh. I'm getting it, maybe. <laughs> I shouldn't jinx it. Charma. <laughs> I wish. That would be crazy. <laughs> Oh! Oh! I can't believe it. Hold on, don't mess this up. Oh, that was okay. I knew that grip didn't feel good. That one does though. <gasps> Don't mess it up. Oh, why are they wiggly? Why are they wiggly? My hands are so sweaty. Why are they wiggly? Why would they do this to me? To me specifically? My hands are so sweaty. Hold on. 
My palms are sweaty. No, that's not a good grip. Oh, that was scary. Why is, okay, wait, I must need to go to this rock, huh? you are. And I'm proud of it too. Oops. <laughs> the laziness sets in now. The despair sets in. Those were some wiggly lanterns. I feel like this game is usually not quite that evil. Oh no, this is like a new level of evilness. Like in the other ones, they would always put some easy stuff after the really hard jumps. <laughs> Tutorial over. Yeah, they were pretty safe until they asked you me to jump. Do a crazy jump. Although it's probably not as crazy as these jumps. Oh no, we're just, I don't know. It's, we just get really good at jumping. At all kinds of jumping. Right here. In these times. And then nothing, no, 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 no. Nothing can or will. Feed us. I know the stakes are too high. Oops, it's okay. I just have to get a little better at this part. And then it will be no problem. Oops, <laughs> I feel like I'm getting worse. We're still here. We had a, a, a tiny modicum of progress. And now, now we're back. We're practicing. Let's go back to getting over it. Come on, John Climber. You can do this. If only he had longer arms. Like a real monkey man. Then he could do it. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be disparaging our boy though. Grappling hook. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have 
no idea how I did this part. Ah! <laughs> I just went for it! I'm due, I'm so due for the wheel. I'm so due. Oh. Think of my sanity. I'm totally sane. What are you mean? What are you talking about? I think I'm getting I'm definitely getting better at this part. At least the first jump. <laughs> I am! Run the numbers. Somebody run the numbers. I'm sure you will find. That I'm making this jump way more often. And this jump! You can you can run the numbers. No! You don't run the numbers, actually. I changed my mind. Don't run the numbers. <laughs> that was embarrassing. The numbers are in, I'm not. The numbers are wrong. I am the best at this game. <laughs> oh! There is something about these climbing games. I don't know. They just scratch an itch in my brain. Even like only up. Oh no, I'm getting crazy. It's just delightful. So delightful. Brains shouldn't itch. What if mine does? Do I need to consult WebMD? I don't know. It's it does, oh no, it does make me think that like, sometimes it's nice to play a game that is like, <laughs> zero percent like technical skill, like the skill of your, your hand-eye coordination. The skill of your controller or mouse presses. Like Balatro, for example. No! <laughs> it doesn't matter how you move your hands. It's all about your brain in that one. But in this game, your brain can be 70% on Link. <laughs> in that one outfit with the veil. And you can still make progress. Oops, I was I was looking at chat on time. <laughs> Still <laughs> No no. I'm just kidding. I need my brain needs new material. It's really I'm thinking about Edward Cullen, but I'm too embarrassed to say that. <laughs> you You're not distracting me, you're keeping me sane, you're keeping me company. You think I could do this by myself? Yeah, Edward Cullen in that one outfit with the veil. No, I just think of how happy he looked at the wedding and how... How displeased Bella looked until Jacob showed up. It makes me sad. I feel like we don't want to go up too much. Oh, that was so close! I touched the wheel! I touched it! I touched it! <laughs> We're getting there. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. Oops. <laughs> This is the one though. I touched the wheel and the wheel said nope. I'm so due. <sighs> no, I shouldn't grab it like that. That's, that's not. Now that's just, that's just getting lazy. 
Maybe it's time for hand stretch. Or not in the charm. Not firmly. Edward makes a good Batman. I actually tried to watch the Batman movie he's in, but I fell asleep. <laughs> through and I don't really know what happens same you too I don't know I'm not that into superhero movies in general and I don't know I just fell asleep <laughs> I was tired I kind of liked the the Riddler though he was kind of evil and kind of cool says I'm Batman, trust. Honestly, he had his mask on most of the time and I could barely even tell that he's Robert Pattinson. Yeah. Yeah. The Rizzler. Ooh! You can't, you can't go too far actually. Okay. No, firmly grasp it. I said firmly. I don't know if that's firm. I'm scared. <laughs> that's not firmly enough. Oh. Firmly grasp. Okay. Oh! <gasps> See, that's what happens when you don't firmly grasp it. Never grasp it weakly. Only firmly. Otherwise, he would have been dead long ago. <laughs> the day after my birthday, March 22nd, Boromir comes to Hitman again, right? Oops. I killed him! I gotta see what it's all about. People have been hyping it up. The Boromir Hitman map. Uh oh. <gasps> that was scary. This part is still a little scary. No, a little more than that. Oh. The 
Princess Peach game? Wait, is the Princess Peach game also coming out? There's too many games coming out. How am I gonna play all these? I need to play Slice and Dice. I want to play Series Spawn of Seasons of Promise. I want to play Hitman Boromir Edition. I want to play The Witcher <laughs> and Hollow Knight. And I want to play this game. Slice and Dice, did I already say that? Dragon Dogma. I never played the first one. My hands are sweaty. <laughs> Yes, and Balatro. We have the Stardew Valley update came out. Now you can have a chicken farm where you start with chickens, right? What else is in the Stardew update? I do love me some Stardew Valley. <laughs> you can have snail? You can drink mayo? Why? <laughs> Wait, I guess you, you, can you not eat mayo before? Just like straight from the jar? <laughs> you could not. Could you be approved? You can drink anything if you try hard enough. I mean, you could water it down mayo and then it's basically like yogurt drink if you're insane right maybe it's more like maybe we should put like vodka in it and then call it like a breakfast cocktail because i feel like people will accept anything in their drink if you say it's a brunch cocktail I'm looking at you, Bloody Mary. Why is there a whole celery stick and an entire anchovy with eyes in my drink? I don't... Actually, I don't know if I've ever even had a Bloody Mary. It just doesn't seem that good to me. I mean, I don't even like... Like, V8 on a good day, you know? Like, mix it with the anchovies and vodka, and then, like... No! That's, like, even less something that I want. <laughs> you made is tasty? Isn't it basically just, like, drinking tomato soup, though? Blue V8? What is blue V8? They're good. It has a kick, does it? And tomato soup is it cold tomato soup? Do you drink it cold? Why don't you just crack open a... Wait, hold on. What's the tomato soup brand? My bit. Why don't you just crack open a... Campbell's. <laughs> That's the one. Why don't you just crack open a Campbell's then? A cold Campbell's. We got there. Minus two. It would have hit if I had remembered the name of the soup brand. <laughs> Progressive. I forgot Campbell's. Come on, I've been playing the climbing game for two hours. Over two hours. Gotta cut me some slack here. <laughs> Crack it open a Campbell's with the saps. Oh! Hold on, firmly grasp it? With the grilled cheese? I mean, that is an unbeatable combo. Right there, for sure. A grilled cheese and tomato soup. That one's 
going crazy. What's wrong with that one? Doesn't this kind of remind you of the Hokkaido map in Hitman almost? Oh. Me parkouring around the Hokkaido map. not reachable oh gosh touched the sign before. I never learned. 
You live and you learn. <sighs> Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. John climbing, you're freaking me out. You need to grasp it more firmly. <laughs> firmly grasp it! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm trusting you, John climbing. I'm trusting that you're grasping it firmly. Climb, bird. Oh my gosh, this even this part is like awful. Not the other hand. I really thought the left right here was the checkpoint, was the pool. Don't grab the mushrooms. I said don't. Though they are cute. Don't grab them. Okay, what do I have to do? But you can grab this thing, but you can't grab the... jumps now. That was the real jump training. All of that. Though sometimes these seem impossible. Oh. 
gosh, that was scary. This part is scary. They really feel slippery, slippery. <laughs> now where? <laughs> Nothing. John climbing bird. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm going too wild with it now. Don't go too crazy now. Cool. Scary. I don't really have a fear of heights, but this is making me feel like I do. I guess everyone has some innate fear of heights, right? Gotta, it's not as easy as you think it is. Whoa, I don't know what I grabbed just then. Whoa. He's got some tough bones, he does. Climbing is his middle name and his last name. Wait, what? Can you even grab that? How did you grab that? That's right, John C. Climbert. The C stands for climbing. Below? The rocks below? I don't know if I understand, but I will try to understand. Hold on, I'm going too crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to play while I'm not even looking at the screen. Uh oh. Do people play this with controller? What's the meta? What did Pekrida use? Mouse and keyboard? Speedrunning requires mouse. But don't you lose function of your hands if you use a mouse and keyboard? I feel like already, even the controller hurts my hand a bit. I guess if you're only playing it, for six minutes to speed run it, it's no big deal. Oh gosh, hold on. Calm, calm. Yeah. Okay, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Not up there, that's impossible, right? Down? Down where? Down right, but right where? Slide down? Straight down? <laughs> or 
or should I go right? Right down, like here? <laughs> I think I saw it. Did I see it? Uh oh. It was further right than I was, correct? Can you reach it from here? Maybe if you're a speedrunner. Hold on, I believe. <gasps> we can do this. We got this. This part's not even that bad. I feel like I'm not sitting in my chair properly. I mean, am I ever sitting in it properly? Not really. I almost always have at least one leg <laughs> up there. No, I went too fast. I went too fast. Shrimping, maybe shrimping. We need 15%. Do you have to go slow? Ah, but how can you get far enough if you're going slow? Is it, I mean, I'm sure it's possible. <laughs> How much time? I've got about 30 minutes. I think that's plenty of time for me to beat the game. Still, I would say we're still right on schedule to beat the game before the Twilight Watch Long. I mean, if the speedrunners can do it in six minutes, then like... Okay, but how do I move my arms? I don't understand how to move my arms on the ice! <laughs> how do you, how do you do it? <laughs> you don't? But you can't get that far without going fast. I don't understand. Climb quickly. <laughs> like a snail on my couch. <laughs> Quick but large. on my couch. <laughs> it's working? Is it working? I don't know if it's working. Is <laughs> he see is it heavily cat coated? He kind of is. Both arms? <laughs> I don't know about both arms. Cat claw climb. Can we do this? Hairless cat. Have you guys seen wobbly cats? Oops, it has a name too. It's a condition that affects some cats. I think it's a 
Like when their cerebrum is malformed and they have trouble moving. But it doesn't affect their lifespan or really their quality of life. They just are wobbly. <gasps> they just move very wobbly. <laughs> it's sad, but also cute. I don't think you have to feel too sad for them unless they can't get adopted because of it. Because I don't think it affects their, their happiness or quality of life. They can still be happy as any cat. And it is very cute. I feel like I'm losing power in my in my jumps. Do they hurt? No, it does not hurt them. They're just wobbly. They're very cute. Okay, okay. I know it does sometimes make me sad when I watch videos of them. Because I, the instinct is to be like, oh no, poor baby, but I think you don't really need to feel sorry for them. Even though they look wobbly, like they have a hard time, they can do everything any other cat can do. More or less. <laughs> they can do anything they need to do to be happy. Yeah, they don't know anything's wrong. Your cat has it, he's so cute, but he is happy and living a good life. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you for caring for a cat, a wobbly cat. I think it's great when people care for cats like that. They might not otherwise get adopted. Cause some people are, well, maybe they're afraid that it will like require medical attention that they can't give or something. The undesirables, yeah. yeah. Okay, how the heck do I do this? <laughs> Go lower. <laughs> it's too far. <laughs> Just to do it? Scramble to the right? Jump high? But I'm gonna go too fast. Right? Scratch! I don't know if I can scramble to the right! I failed. Do I need to practice my scrambling? <laughs> I don't know about this jump. I thought this part would be easy. Here I am. I was looking forward to the easy section after that... that <laughs> that brutal last section, but it turns out the easy section's already over. And <laughs> scramble really is a mechanic? Snail <laughs> takes the wheel. <laughs> Snail is very long. I've realized. Uh oh. I don't, I mean, you can't always tell because most of the time he's kind of scrunched up. But when he fully extends, he's quite long. Like he can reach the handle of doors <laughs> when he fully extends. Oh no. Yeah, he's like a slinky. <laughs> slinky cat. Uh-oh. Okay, we're we're losing it. I feel like my real life grip strength is is failing. Like a snail? True actually. He is like his namesake in many ways. Snails got kind of cursed for me. I mean, I still love snails and I love snail most of all, but after reading Uzumaki, 
The snail scene might have been the most <laughs> traumatizing scene for me. The snails. Yeah. <laughs> They're so tasty. The escargot. No, I felt like I was close. Is this part supposed to be hard? I feel like I'm way too wild. Like there's no way I'll ever, I'll ever be able to grab it. No! It's not even supposed to be hard? <laughs> Was I even that close? I feel like I wouldn't have even been able to grab it. Oh no. I'm scrambling. Come snail. Sometimes I wish. The snail's got a pretty good life. He doesn't have to worry about much. And it feels like every week he's got like a new favorite place to hang out. <laughs> he's got a new hiding spot that I have to discover. He still loves the cabinets. No, 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 no. I was not looking. <laughs> Lately, every day I wake up and I go into my bathroom and the cabinet is open and I have to close it. And then just a few moments later, the cabinet has already been opened again. So now I just accept that my bathroom cabinet door will always be open. <laughs> He's just a little explorer. He is. No! <laughs> is this part possible with the controller? Now I'm blaming my controller. <laughs> Is it really the scramble? Is that really how you're supposed to do it? They should make a game like this, but it's easy. They should consider that. Have they done that? Yeah, it's called getting over it. Ha ha ha. It's an easy game about climbing. Don't you feel like that would be pretty satisfying? An easy game about climbing? Assassin's Creed. I think Assassin's Creed was harder than this. Assassin's Creed was so hard. Okay. I forgot how to play every stream. It was so hard. <laughs> Inkwa na 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 na. How do I do it? Start lower, but doesn't it make sense to start higher so I have more time to scramble? Both hand gripping? Just hold right trigger? Send hands to the right? But do I send hands to the right by going left or by going right? Start lower and you could throw yourself further? We need a massive swing? I don't know what we need. Hands up and aim well. No! I didn't send them up! It's so hard, because when I swing, I'm facing one way, and then his hands go that way. Wrong direction? But then it's the opposite direction of the direction I swing! Oh no. 
we're going, we're going down. I don't understand. My brain cannot comprehend this section. Oh no. <laughs> this should make an easy game about climbing. How about a medium game about climbing? Medium is premium after all. Just like all of the the sections, like the oh, nice flip, bro. Like the <laughs> the underwear section, and like the cog section. That was pretty good. They should do that. Although I don't know if that would have quite the same mass appeal. Does this game have mass appeal though? Even. It has appeal for streamers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's a fun game to stream. But I don't, would I play this on my own? Maybe, it is pretty fun. But I don't know if I would play it by myself. Wait, Nerissa is here? What did Nerissa say? <laughs> A relaxing game about climbing, yes. A slightly difficult but not too challenging game about climbing. What's harder, this or Baba is you? Oh no. <laughs> I'm losing it. I really thought Baba is you would only take like 20 hours. But I'm already 15 hours in and <laughs> I've got a long way to go. Definitely Baba. Oh, oh. Baba is you. Oh no! <laughs> I split the bro. Baba is you is just you alternating between feeling like a dummy and then feeling like the smartest person to ever live. I don't understand this at all. I'm so stupid. Oh my God, I figured it out. I'm a genius. Albert Einstein, who? Okay, I'm losing. <laughs> Dial it in. Oh no, it's almost been three hours. I said I was gonna beat this game today. <laughs> Hold on, I can do it, I can do it. Dial it in. Oh no. <laughs> I'm pretty close, am I really? Just win. Yeah, I'll just win really quick. I feel like I'm getting worse at jumps. Oh no. <laughs> now that the jump training is over, I'm getting kind of wild with it. Why am I getting so wild with it? Why is he doing so many flips? This is not gymnastics. Firmly grasp it, dude. I know he's got the sweaty gamer hands too, just like me. This is an accurate depiction of my current grip on the controller. <laughs> he's got a rubber spine. He's like a party favor that you get. Little rubber man. Or maybe he's like the, the man. Have you ever seen the grow your own boyfriend or girlfriend? And it's like you put him in water and then he will grow. He will like quadruple in size. What? You've not seen it? Are they like chia pets? No, not quite. It's like a little tiny man. 
and you put him in water. And then he grows to be still honestly a tiny man in comparison to how tall a human man usually is, but bigger than what they started with. Yeah, like the dinosaur pills, yeah. But a little weirder. No, oh, it's not possible. How am I gonna win in 10 minutes? Well, the speed run is only six minutes and I'm probably at least halfway through. So that gives me some wiggle room. Don't panic. I just don't know how to send my arms. Oh, no! I should stop doing that. I'm trying to go too fast right now. Slow is fast. Don't think, just grab. What do you think I've been doing the last three hours? Oh no, oh no. Should I use the mouse? No, I should never use the mouse. I use the keyboard only. It can be done with just the keyboard. We don't need to succumb to the keyboard and mouse. Those who think that they are so superior to us controller users. Where are my fellow controller users at? And then it's just like crickets. <laughs> no one, no one chimes in. It's just me. <laughs> You're here, you're here. <laughs> we have a few of us. <laughs> you use both. Me too. Me too. I feel like I'm hearing something sparkly over here. Like there's treasure. Do you hear that? Is that the end I hear? Yeah, like a loot bin. <laughs> like a hitman loot crate. Is Edward? No! You just have to have to say that Edward is over there and then I'll do better. <laughs> do it for Edward. I heard him. I heard him. I heard him shimmering. No. It's true. Space and getting over does have sparkly sounds. Is this space? I mean, you know how much trouble I have with space and getting over it. I'm getting too wild with this still. Oh no, no, no! Why am I so wild? I should just go slow. But I want to win. I want to taste the sweet, sweet taste of progress in this game. What's more? <laughs> no, 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 I keep doing it, I keep doing it. I'm so close, am I? I want to win. No. <laughs> Maybe a good old twilight break would do me good though. Maybe after that I would be refreshed and ready to go. Ready to win. Okay, don't do that section so fast. There is no need. This section also, there is no need. 
firmly. Grasp it. Oh no. My chat died. It's fine. I will reset it the next time I fall. Which will hopefully be never. So I'm sorry if I never hear from you again. Okay, now I'm gonna imagine you're all saying it's Edward. Edward is over there. He's just over there. He's sparkling. No, I put my hands the wrong way. Okay, reset. What if I put my hands the other way? We've fallen and we can't get up. What if, what if I put my hands the other way? Maybe we can, we can make it. <laughs> Edward is there, Bonnie, you'll get him next time. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get him. What's up? I'm me on my way to pick Edward up from high school. Now it's weird. Now I don't want him anymore. <laughs> no, it's fine. We're in Breaking Dawn part two. He already graduated. Oh God. But then is he gonna go back to high school? Wait, I never thought about this actually. This <laughs> doesn't sound right. He's like a hundred years old. I know. So why is he still? I'm sorry. I'm not over this. I'm not over him going to high school. He's going to college. Is he? But like, what about? <laughs> what about like, you know, ten years later, after they get married? Does he have to go back to high school? Does Bella have to go to high school too? Or does she like drop him off? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Cause he's been going to high school for like the past 100 years, right? <laughs> when is enough enough? No! No! <laughs> we'll have to go back to high school and pretend to be step siblings like Rosalie and Emmett. This is the true curse. This is what Rosalie meant when she was like, don't become a vampire. It's not all fun and games. This is what she was talking about. <laughs> the true torment. It's not about hunting animals in the woods. It's about having to go to high school and pretend like your vampire husband is your, your stepbrother. <laughs> We're enjoying his high school musical life. I know, none of them even seem to enjoy it. At least he doesn't. I made it so weird. I didn't make it weird. It's been weird. I simply took it to the logical conclusion. <laughs> Where did they go with the step sibling story? I don't know. Why did they go to high school at all? Couldn't they at least just say like, oh yeah, we're married. I, like, I know that we're high schoolers, yeah. but and that's pretty uncommon, but it can happen. Yeah. They could have just said that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's less unusual than, than the act they're really putting on. Is it because they all are sparkly and pale and they have yellow eyes? I don't know, I guess because they live together. <laughs> we're, we're slipping, we're falling. I gotta, I gotta make it over there. Oh. 
My gamer strength is waning. Is this why people drink G Fuel? Do you think if I chug a G Fuel right now, I've literally never had an energy drink of any kind in my whole life. I've never had a Red Bull or a Monster or a G Fuel. Do you think if I chug a G Fuel right now, it'll give me super gamer powers and I will just beat the game? Don't start. <laughs> but what if, what if it could be the key to unlocking my Gamer abilities. Do they have a peach flavored one? Yeah. I'm already gamer enough. It's just cause I sleep a lot. That's my, that's my G fuel. <laughs> Sleeping nine hours a night. That's what I call G fuel. Okay, so. So, nine hours of gamer rest. That's right. <laughs> Call that sleep fuel. I don't know. You know they say that everyone needs a different amount of sleep. Some people say nine hours is too much, but Mama Kieran also needs like nine hours of sleep. She also sleeps like nine hours a night. Is an average seven? I think, I don't know, I always heard eight, but eight is like if you're lucky enough to get eight. But I thought that you're supposed to have sleep in uh, 90 minute intervals. So it should be like six, seven and a half, or nine is better than eight. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> it's ideal for REM sleep. I feel like I feel that because when I sleep for eight hours, I feel awful. When I sleep for six hours, I'm a little tired, but I can function. When I sleep for seven and a half hours, I feel pretty good. And then when I sleep for nine hours, I'm at my, it's my ideal. <laughs> eight is five cycles plus 30 minutes to fall asleep. That's true, I guess. Gamer peak. Yeah. 7.5 is your ideal. I think 7.5 is pretty good too. It's better than eight. To me, exactly eight hours. Like from when you fall asleep to when you wake up doesn't feel good. To me, six feels better than eight. But that's cause I sleep a lot normally. <laughs> so I'm okay if I have one night of less sleep. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, sleep cycles. That's how it feels. Oh, should we go lower? Okay. Reach for the stars. Edward Cullen, he's here. No! I forgot to grab! It's so bad. Is it supposed to be hard? Because I don't understand how it's done. What are you grabbing? Don't grab the icicles. Time's up. Just, uh touch more wouldn't be too bad, right? <laughs> Just a, one more attempt. Should be fine. I already know what my movie snack is gonna be. I have cotton candy grapes the best kind of grape. That will be my snack. So it's easy to make. I just need to wash them and then they're ready to go. Oh! What did I tell you about just one more attempt? Are you 
grasping it firmly? Jonathan? Jonathan? Are you grasping it firmly? Please grasp it firmly. Please. Now what the heck is this? What is this jump? Can he reach this? I feel like he can probably reach it, but he's gonna slide. Every time he tries. Oh no! Jonathan! 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 You disgust me. What if, what if one more? I wanna end it, but I wanna do one more so bad. But I wanna end it, but. Was the checkpoint right there? Oh no, it's probably easy after that point though. Right? <laughs> Last one. Oh no, oh no. Is it, is it right there? Is the checkpoint right there? <laughs> the scramble. I see the problem is I don't even know how I did that. I don't even know how I made it that last time. Oh, Jonathan, how could you? You didn't powder your fingers like I told you to. Of course, your grip strength. No more checkpoints? Wait, really? There's no more checkpoints? I'm at the end? <laughs> I'm at the end? What? Halfway? No. How can I be so close but so far away? I want it so bad. I want to climb to victory. The speed run is one minute from here. Well, the getting over a speed run is one minute from start to finish. That doesn't really mean anything. Okay, maybe we'll tackle it next time. Am I gonna beat it in like one hour? 90% of VTubers give up right before the end. It's time for a twilight break. Tomorrow's my birthday, you better be there. You better be there. I am going to have new accessories revealed. I am going to have special guests. There will be a dungeon of some sort. There will be fun and games. Please be there. It will be my birthday. <laughs> will there be a dragon? I'm not spoiling that. I'm not spoiling that. There may or may not be a dragon. <laughs> Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm the dragon, I kind of am. <laughs> that means there will be, no, no. You don't know that, you don't know that. Tomorrow, really tomorrow. But first, Twilight. I will redirect you over there. It's gonna be right here on my channel in 55 minutes. Yes. So I will see you there. Thank you for watching. I will see you for Twilight and I will see you for my birthday tomorrow. Bye bye, Fawn. Well, bye. <laughs>